sir. A thousand apologies, ma'am. Catherine, do take this pin out of my sleeve. It, it was not your fault, sir. Allow me. Oh. Thank you kindly, sir. Though I'm afraid it's torn a hole already. There. Nothing too disastrous, ma'am. I shall be sorry if it has, for it's a favourite gown. Really, Mrs. Allen, one would hardly notice. No, it costs but nine shillings a yard. Nine shillings? That is exactly what I should have guessed. Do you understand muslins, sir? I understand them very well. My sister has often entrusted me in the choice of a gown. I bought one for her only the other day. Five shillings a yard and a true Indian muslin. What do you make of that? Well, and I can never get Mr. Allen to tell one of my gowns from another. But tell me, sir, what do you think of Miss Morland's gown? Miss Morland's gown? Miss Morland's gown is very pretty. Though I don't think it'll wash well. I'm afraid it will fray. How can you be so... Presumptuous. Indeed. Without so much as an introduction. You must allow me to make amends, Mrs. Allen. Gentlemen. Thank you. Very kind indeed. One moment. What a, a very... Really, I shouldn't have allowed you to speak to him as a stranger. But he had such an understanding of muslin. I wonder where he's gone. Oh, here he comes again. And he's brought Mr. King with him. The master of ceremonies himself. Mrs. Allen. Miss Morland. Allow me to present to you Mr. Henry Tilly. Just lately arrived in Bath. Mrs. Allen. Miss Morland. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Mr. King. Now we may talk to one another. We've already been talking. You mustn't allow anyone to hear you say such things. We shall all be expelled from polite society. Let it be our secret. And now, if your card is not already full, Miss Morland, might I request the pleasure of the next dance with you? With me? Thank you. 